A fight that was scheduled first time for March. Rigondo had problems getting a visa, but now here he is against Willie Casey, the Irishman, five years ago. He took Casey out in the opening round. Dickens has been saying it is his destiny to be the world champion. What can he do? That's a big question, John. It really is. What can he do? Well, they'd certainly rank alongside the likes of Lloyd Hunnigan against Don Curry, against Randolph Turpin, against Sugar Ray Robinson, if he pulls this one off. Oh, it'd, be, it'd be such an amazing win. It'd be the, the biggest win by any British fighter in recent years, that's for sure. I think the Turpin Robinson thing stands alone. 1951, that was. So often with Rigondo, it's a quiet opening as he just looks to see what his opponent has got. And he makes you miss by inches, centimetres sometimes. And wound up on that left hand. Good jab there from Dickens as well, that's good. A little bit of confidence maybe there for Jazza. Self-confessed bad, bad lad when he was a kid, Jazza turned his life around with his religion and with his boxing works as a volunteer in soup kitchens and night shelters back home in Liverpool and proud product of the Everton Red Triangle gym he missed by a lot there did he? I think just clipped him as well with that actually with our left hand just as Jazza was just, just spinning round and just before that, I was just about to say, well, Jazz was doing it, he's landed with a punch so far, but then we're going to go prepared for that. That's the thing with Rigondo, it's very hard and you can't make any mistakes. Behind the scenes, those who've been working say that all through the week, Rigondo's been sweetness and light. Come fight night, it's been a slightly different story. <laughs> Business time. Very, very quiet opening round. But this is the rig under way, isn't it? Just likes to have a look at his opponent. That's not jab from, from Jazza. Right, landing, landing on the gloves there was Jazza Dickens. It's good to see he's willing to let his hands go, though, when he, when he, see, if he sees the opportunity. Well, he, can't, he can't allow himself to be overawed, can't allow himself to be intimidated. Good shot there from Rigondo in the closing seconds of the round. Right hand gets through, and a little bit of an old-fashioned stare yeah, between the two. In the corner, Paul and Michael Stevenson. Nice to get a little taste of the gloves early, you know what I mean? It's good. Sam here. Okay. Now these, uh, these good fighters, they react to paint. He's going for every paint that you make. What we can start to do now is you've had a good look at him. See now the gears mesh and we're in there now, you know what I mean? Start them paints going, you on a little paint of body, and then come up with a uh, four punch combination. Perfect. Don't have to be here, too good with it. Two or three of them around, you know what I mean? Three or four, keep the look to stay ahead. Otherwise, stay cagey the way you were. But work great. Quiet opening round. Did that right hand from Rigondo in the closing seconds? Did that enough to take it for him? Yeah, I think so. I do. I do. It was a very cagey round, but he didn't get. He didn't get top real box. Uh, Jazzy Dickens. That's a good thing. You know, he didn't. Well, overall with anything, but I think, yeah, just that little thing. It was a cagey opener by both. Battle of the Southpaws. So many of the great Cuban amateurs over the years have been Southpaws. That was uh, the way, the coaching method. They were encouraged to adopt the Southpaw stance simply because it is so awkward. He's practically cheating. Good left hand there from Rigondo. Sharp. There's no tell in his... That's, that's the thing about Rigondo as well. There's no... No tell in his punches, he doesn't move the hand before he throws it. It goes direct from where it is. 
Oh, good left goal, good left hand from Jagger. Good left hand from Dickin. He's poker faced as well, isn't he, Rigondo? Yeah. Doesn't give away any sort of emotion. I'll tell you what, though, Jazza Dickens, his, you know, his, his tactics are not too bad, actually. You know, he, he, he's trying to stay safe, and then he's, when, he's, when he's going to throw his punches, he's committing fully. So I think someone like with Rigondo, who makes you miss by inches, you ha you, you're afraid to overcommit, so you, you, you end up throwing sloppy punches, and then he, he, then he makes you pay with it. But Jazza's, you no, know, he's flying in with his shots when he decides to throw them. Rigondo just waiting, waiting, waiting for Dickens to commit himself. He might have a long wait. Dickens trying to stay tight, compact, and adopting a cagey approach himself. Look at those faces on the far side of the ring, every one of them not wanting to miss one second because that's all it takes with a blink of an eyelid. Rigondo hasn't really landed a big shot as yet he's had the one left hand in this round Dickens responded so on that uh, on that basis fairly level and that yeah. was blocked Well, it's hardly been a punch thrown for the last <laughs> minute and a half. Sorry if it sounds a little bit uh, a little bit quiet, but that's the way it is. Dickens not prepared to commit himself. Likewise, Rigondo. And this is where the criticism stems from Rigondo is that he, he he's not willing to to ever take the lead. He's always reactive, never proactive in his work. Dropped by top rank the promoters and by HBO the American boxing channel for precisely that reason well how do you score that that's got to well, be a level it's round surely be, it? you know, nothing, they both landed with a, with a left hand that was it it's a 1-1 one, one draw well let's take a look at them there's the left hand of Rigondo fantastic shot isn't it and here's the left hand no no that's a different angle, there, a different angle. and in a moment we'll see the left hand of Dickens If that was it, it missed. <laughs> well, what's happened here? I think, I think, I think, I think Jazz is saying he broke his jaw. He's gone. The fight's over. That one shot, I think. That one shot has ended the fight. It's all over. Well, what an anti-climax. One punch has seemingly ended the fight. The left hand from Rigondo.